Hello, this is Carrie Livingood, and thank you for taking a moment to learn how you can access your work computer from home by using Splashtop. In this video, we will be talking about some simple troubleshooting that you can do from home if your remote connection is not working, and show you some key features in Splashtop that may help you to be more effective working remotely. If you are not able to start your remote connection to your work computer using Splashtop, first, see if your home computer is connected to internet. You will need a stable, good connection to internet in order for this remote session to work correctly. If you have spotty internet or are using a hotspot, your session can be slow and may kick you off from time to time. If you have a stable and fast internet speed, you will have a reliable connection. Other reasons why your connection might not be working could be because the computer you are trying to connect to is either turned off, not connected to internet, or asleep. To fix this, you will need to go or have someone in the office evaluate the computer you are trying to connect to and ensure it is powered on and connected to a stable internet connection. If your work computer is connected to multiple displays, but your home computer only has one display, you may be having issues connecting to your work computer's monitors. To see all the monitors on your work computer, you can skip from screen to screen in your remote session by using the switch monitor icon in the toolbar. Here, you will see different options to connect to different screens where you can filter from screen to screen by selecting the desired monitor, you can display all the screens at once, or you can create separate windows for the multiple screens. To switch from monitor to monitor, you can select the desired display from the switch monitor icon and click on it. Your remote window will change to that screen display. You can also click on the next monitor icon on the toolbar for a quick switch. To display all monitors at once, Select the All Monitors, One Window option under the Switch Monitor icon. Note that if you decide to display all available screens, your display will be small and difficult to read. You can adjust this by changing the size of the remote session window on your personal computer. This is very handy for dragging windows from screen to screen or for identifying what windows are open on which monitors. You can also see all your monitors by displaying the All Monitors, Multiple Windows option. This will populate with multiple splashtop windows for each of the available displays on your remote session. Note that if you have multiple windows open, you will not be able to drag items from one window to another, and if you exit out of one window, your whole remote session will end. To close out of these windows, change the display under the switch monitor icon and those extra windows will close automatically. By default, your remote connection will stream audio to your home computer. You can easily test this by watching a YouTube video or playing some Spotify music. However, if you notice that the audio is not working in your remote connection, the first thing you should do is make sure that the sound is on for both your personal computer and your work computer. In episode 3 of this series, we'll be talking about how to share files between your work computer and your personal computer, and how you can print files in your remote connection to a printer you have at home. Thank you! And if you have any questions or are having difficulties with your remote connection with Splashtop, feel free to reach out to us and we will be happy to help.